Hi again, this is Jeff, your protopie expert, answering your protopie questions. Today's question comes from Olivia. Olivia asks, is it possible to make a comparison of two passwords? I have a submit button that goes to a second page, but I want to prevent that action if the passwords do not match. Yeah, this is possible, and I'll show you how to do it. In my Pi here, I have a simple form for creating a password. You enter the password once, then confirm it, and then press the submit button, which should take you to this second scene. Uh, right now, if we preview this, you'll notice that nothing is happening. I can put anything in this field, and I can put anything in this field, and if I tap submit, nothing's happening. I have no logic set up here yet. Um, but you'll notice that when uh, I tap in the field, the keyboard comes up and it's blocking my form. It's blocking the submit button. So let's take care of that first. What I'd like to do is I'm going to use the focus trigger. And the focus trigger you can use on input fields. And I'm going to put it on password one here. Uh, you have two options, focus in for when the field gains focus and focus out for when it loses focus. We're going to use focus in. So let's say this focus in password one. And what I'd like to do, if you'll notice that my UI uh, is contained within this uh, this container here. I want to move this container up so that way it makes room for the keyboard underneath. So let's go and we'll add a move response on the UI container and let's try 70 pixels. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to PB this. I'm going to focus in the enter password. That's great. Um, and then when I click off, the, uh, the UI doesn't move back down. So let's fix that as well. So here, let's move UI up. And I'm going to add another trigger, and this will be focus also on password one, but at this time it'll be focus out for when it loses focus. And we're going to put the UI container back where it was, and we can just use the reset response for that reset UI container. So when I preview this, if I click once in the first password field and then I click off, it moves back down. Uh, we'd also like the second field to do the same thing. So what we can do. Hey, let's focus out password one. What we can do is we can duplicate these. So I'm going to hold down shift, click them both, and press command D or control D on Windows. And now I have complete copies of these, but let's modify these for the password two. So let's choose password two instead of password one, and I'll rename these as well. So now we know what it is. And now we should have, if I click on the field one, and field two, they're both working. And if we go from one field to the next, you're gonna see it stays in place until I click off. Okay, so we've got some basic uh, some basic logic in here. Now let's handle uh, the submit. And I have in my Pi here set up, and these are hidden at the moment, I have two error messages. And the opacity of this one is please enter a password. And we're gonna use that one for when nothing is entered. So if I just click submit without entering anything, we want that error message to come up. And then the second one is if the passwords do not match. And this is going to appear if we put, let's say we put something in here and we don't put anything here, we put something different. And I click submit, we want it to say passwords do not match. So I'm gonna put that back to zero opacity here. And let's set up the first condition here. And that's when nothing's been entered. I'm gonna add a tap trigger to my submit button. So tap, submit button. And let's rename this, tap submit. And we're gonna add a condition. And you can add multiple tests in your condition here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at password one's text property. And we wanna check if it's empty. Now, the interesting thing about the way Protopy works, if you wanna test for an empty string, you actually have to use a formula here. And empty text is two quotes like this with nothing in between. And then what I want to do is the same for password two. So password two, oops, password two, text property, and I want formula, and also empty string or empty text, two quotes. And the way multiple tests work is all of your multiple tests have to be true for any responses you put on there to fire. So in this case, if both fields are empty, I want to show that first error message, the not entered one. We want to show this one. Okay, so let's add an opacity response here. Opacity of error message not entered, and we'll just call this E1 to 100. And let's set this to 100. There we go. So now if I go to preview here and I tap submit, 
it says, please enter a password. Okay, great. So now if I put something in, what I'd like to do though, is when I start trying to fix this, I want this error message to disappear. Um, so that way when I hit submit again, if there's another error message, it's not gonna come on top of this one. So remember in our focus in triggers here, what we can do is we can actually turn off the error messages here. So let's add an opacity response for this error message and we'll set it to zero. And let's do it for, here, let's rename this E120, and we'll do it again for the second one. So I'm gonna duplicate this one again, Command D or Control D on Windows. And the second one, so that way, whenever those fields are focused, the error message, if one is on the screen, they will both disappear. And we're gonna copy these. I hold down Shift, click them both, Command C or Control C on Windows, and let's put that in our Focus 2 trigger. So there we go. So now, when we tap Submit and we see the error message, if I go up here to fix it, the error message goes away. All right, great. Now let's put in the test for if the passwords match. I'm gonna add another condition under our tap trigger here. So condition, and in this case, this is a relatively easy one to do. We're gonna say the passwords, password one's text property, and we wanna compare it against password two's text property. And we're looking for them not equal to each other. And that's this last icon here, not equal. So this is equals, the one with the slash through it means not equal. And I'm gonna add, or sorry, I'm not gonna add another text, another test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in password two's text property over here. So if the text property of password one is not equal to the text property of password two, then I wanna do something. In this case, I wanna show that second error message. So we're gonna add an opacity response under this condition, and this will be of the error two, and we'll make you to 100%. So let's preview this now. I'm gonna add something in this first one, and something else in, in the second one, and clearly they don't match because they're different lengths. Tap submit, passwords do not match. All right, and if I go back here, and you'll notice my error message went away. If I go back here and let's set them both to empty, I'm getting the please enter a password error message. All right, so now let's add our pass condition. This is when something's been entered and both passwords match. So we're gonna add a third condition. Here, let's rename this first of all, E2 to 100. And what I like to do is I like to rename my conditions as well. So not entered. And my second condition is does not match. And then I'm gonna add a third condition. My third condition will be something's been entered and they both match. So we're gonna do two tests in this condition. So the first one is, let's, all we need to do is we need to check if one of them has something entered in here. So we want the text property and does not equal, and recall we have to use a formula here to test for empty text. So I care that the first password field, you could use password one or password two in here, it doesn't really matter which one you use, and is not equal to empty text. And I'm gonna add a second test, and this is where password one's test text property equals password two's text property. And in this case, this is our pass condition. So let's put pass here, and this is where I'd want to jump to my second scene. So jump, scene two, and I like to use this slide in transition. And now let's test this out. I'm gonna put in nothing first of all, and tap submit, and it tells me please enter a password. Okay, I'm gonna put something in here, something different in here, and tap submit. Now let's let's fix this and put in, let's put in the same thing. So I'm gonna type in password, and this one password. They are the same thing, and if I hit submit, great, we end up on our second page. And that's how you do it, easy as pie. If you've run into a snag with one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, please check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.